Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you my summer foundation routine and it basically turned into a get ready with me video. I've been using a couple foundations that have really been staying in place, especially with like the heat and it's been raining a lot so it's been really humid so I've been having a problem with my makeup staying put but this combination works amazing and so yeah, if you'd like to see my summer foundation routine then keep watching. So these are the two foundations that I've been mixing. This one is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum cover and this one is the MAC face and body foundation which is super lightweight but it's waterproof so I feel like it helps keep my makeup on and I just use one of these little palettes and I put just a tiny dot probably like a half of a pea size and then I shake this up really well and then put um, probably like a pea size or so of that and I just mix it up with my finger and I'm not using any type of primer because I've been trying to see how that works for keeping my makeup on. It was suggested to try not using a primer. So I just kind of place this all over. And then I use a kabuki brush and blend it out. And then if I need to conceal anything, I just go over it again with a little bit more foundation. I bought the, well actually it was a gift, but I wanted this because I felt like it would be really great to use as a concealer. But if you use it alone all over your face, it's just way too heavy. And then I'm just taking a little bit more. And applying it where I need a little bit more coverage. I feel like my makeup comes off the most around like my chin and my jawline. So I try to add a little bit more. It's pretty much what I've been doing for my foundation. I'm not going to set it with a powder. I'm just going to finish with, finish up with the rest of my makeup. And I'm using NYX Eye Base in white. And I'm just applying this right underneath my eyebrows. And then in the inner corner and on my lid. Just kind of blending it out lightly. I know that's super light, but I'm going to go over it with eyeshadow and it's just going to help my eyeshadows pop a little bit better and then keep the areas that I want highlighted, highlighted. So really quickly, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows and I'm just going to brush them out a little bit. And I'm using that is coquette and that is copper plate. Holy smokes. Okay, now I'm taking a let's see my Mac 239 brush, which is this one, and I'm using expensive pink, which is this peachy shimmery shade and I'm just going to place this all over my eyelid and I'm leaving that inner corner to put a lighter shade there this is like a peachy pink with gold shimmer like a yellow gold shimmer And 
then I'm taking, so I used the expensive pink with that side and then I'm going to flip it over and used, use Sable, which is this shade right here. And I'm just going to take this into the crease and flick it up a little bit. I'm going to line right there with the end of my brush and then just bring it over into the crease. Now I'm taking a blending brush and I'm using Samoa Silk, which is like a peachy shade. And I'm just using that shade to blend out the sable. And then I'm just bringing it down onto the outer corner of my lower lash line. And then just making sure that everything is well blended. Okay, for my inner corner, I'm using nylon, which is like a yellow really pale gold and just making sure to blend it out so it's not like all in one spot and now for liner and mascara you guys have seen me do that a million times so I have applied my liner, I used the Black Track Fluid Line from MAC, and then I applied one coat of mascara with the L'Oreal Voluminous. And now I'm taking a little bit more of Sable and just like a, a smudger brush. And I'm just gonna take this right under my lower lash line. And it just gives like a little bit more of a smoky look. And now I'm taking a little bit of concealer. This is the Pro Longwear Concealer in NC25. And I'm just putting a little bit underneath my eye. I like to start down here and then bring it up towards the lower lash line. That way it blends out really nicely. And I'm just taking my foundation brush and just tapping it in with the rest of my foundation okay now I am going to use a little bit of powder to set everything and this is the MAC powder in NC30 it's the select sheer loose powder I'm just taking a stippling brush and just stippling it on, especially where I'm going to apply my blush and uh, contour. That way that all blends out really well. And then a little bit down the center of my face. I'm keeping it away from underneath my eyes because that concealer really doesn't need to be set with a powder. It could look a little bit cakey if you did that. Okay, now I am using my MAC angled brush. And let's see, where's my bronzer? Here it is. So I'm using Hula Bronzer. And just contouring my cheeks and my temples along my hairline. And 
and then my jawline and then right underneath my nose and then a little bit on top okay for blush I'm applying a little bit of this one this is called peaches from Mac it's so pretty I just got this and I absolutely am in love with it it's like a true peach I'm just using a an elf uh, stippling brush actually this is a small stipple brush and I'm just applying this to the back of my cheeks but I am in love with this it is perfect for spring and summer actually probably any time of the year it just looks so good okay now for highlight I'm just using a little bit of where did you go? I've been using this one a lot. It's the Femme Couture Mineral Baked Bronzer in Summer Kiss. Just applying that right above my cheekbones very lightly. And now I'm just going to go um, back in with my brush. Sorry, I forgot what I was doing for a second. And just blend that out. I'm also going to add one more coat of mascara and I'm using the Jordana Best Lash Extreme. And then I will finish up with my lips. And I've been using a combination lately. And these well, I picked up a few new lipsticks from MAC and this one is called Kinda Sexy. It's like a pinky brown. It's also like a nude shade. And it's a matte. So I apply that and then a little bit of Myth from MAC just right in the center. And then I line my lips with Boldly Bare. Which is basically the same color as Kinda Sexy. And that is it. So I'm off to work. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!